Hi to everyone, I am Maria Giulia De Donno, I am a petroleum engineer and I joined Politecnico di Torino in 2012 for a professional master in petroleum engineering and operations. I am very satisfied about uh, this choice and I think that today, after 10 years, is still a great choice to do if you are starting um, a bachelor or a master degree. Thanks to this master, I was hired by the company I always dream of while I was young, who was ENI. And uh, it was super honor to be hired by ENI. And also it was a great launch pad for my career. After just one year and a half inside the company, I could have my first uh, abroad experience in Iraq. And I contributed to the operations management of a super giant oil field uh, whose name is Zubair. And uh, during this experience, I could cooperate with the drilling, the production, but also with planning and project, and also with finance and negotiation. So it was a 360 degree experience. Um, after that, I was back to that quarter and I could add another amazing experience who was coordinating the digital transformation for my professional family, uh, who was uh, the reservoir of petroleum engineering. And also that was amazing. And it was also my first more business related experience. And third experience I really would like to share thanks of that is that I participated to a final investment, to a final investment decision for a greenfield development in North Africa and through reservoir studies. And the overall decision was about 1 billion. So you can see how much your analysis can be impactful for um, uh, for the industry, also in the early phase of your of your career. After my experience in I in ENI, and thanks probably to digital transformation and also to an MBA, I moved to a, a more business related job. So you can see that also if you start as an engineer, you can move also on the business side if you want. And I moved to a top a top tier management consulting where I could uh, work in project um, where we were advising leaders on topics like strategic positioning, capex allocation, opex reduction, decarbonization and sustainability, and an area, a new area development plan. If you like, like science, for me, this work is better than NASA because you really have to get inside many type of, types of physics and um, you really have to know that uh, starting from, um, for example, fluid dynamics, diagram phase, or uh, rock fluid interactions, geomechanics, many things together. It's like multi-physics process together. And, um, and you can talk with many experts who really know the subject and are working there from many times with actual data. You can know many, I would say, fancy professionals, I would say mythological professionals. I don't know if you know what is a topographer, a sedimentologist, an exploration geologist, a seismologist, um, a, a driller, for example. Third reason is that it's very important to know the supply chain of, of the oil and gas. In general, if you want to work in the energy and also if you want to work in the sustainability and also if you want maybe to improve the processes and make them more sustainable. And considering also mining engineering, today, raw materials, minerals, fossil fuels, everything related with energy, you can see from the news every day are very strategic. It hasn't been that easy. Yeah, as a woman, and I, I mean, I, I made I made a sort of a gender balance after ten years of working here, and uh, really I can see that maybe some accidents happen just because I, I was a woman, and uh, and nowadays it's still a little bit sad, but things are changing fast, and also you can get whatever you want so there are now today there are so much more opportunities and things are, are changing and if you love science if you're inner motivated go for it you will find your way
and I am in this uh, delicate moment of my career that is called, uh, as you can see from the gender diversity vocabulary, breaking the ceiling. But I'm so glad that I, I could arrive here so early. Please consider petroleum and mining engineering for your future. I think it's an amazing field and you can use it in many, many different ways from geopolitics to operations to business, whatever you like.